Hi, I'm Mal and welcome back to Mini Model Makes. Today I've got another 5 minute painting tutorial. This time it's going to be a 5 minute fur cloak. Except you can use this on any kind of fur item. You can use this on Fenrisian wolves, um, bears, any kind of model out there. This uh, painting scheme works really great. So, I've only got 5 minutes again, so let's crack for this video you'll need the following paints Steel Legion Drab Agrax Earthshade Seraphim Sepia Bane Blade Brown Karak Stone Ushabti Bone Don't forget to bring your paintbrushes at least one of those will need to be a small dry brush of some kind for this tutorial Ok, let's move on so here I have my fur pelt or fur cloak which is from one of the Warhammer 40,000 Space Wolves. All I've done is uh, prime that with Mechanica Standard Grey Spray and then um, hit the top of it with a zenithal highlight of Dawnstone from an airbrush. That's just so it fits in with my um, 30k Space Wolves that is the project I'm working on at the moment. Um, if you watch a lot of my videos, they're, they're all sort of very Space Wolfy kind of themed at the minute. For the first layer now, I'm going to paint the fur area with some Steel Legion Drab. There we go. I'm just putting that onto this palette here. Mixing some water in with it and coating the fur area with that. I need a bit more steel legion drab. I've gone a little bit too thin. I'm going to tidy that up, wait for that to dry, or hit it with my hobby hair dryer that I've got. Just a cheap little hair dryer. It speeds up the uh, drying process and enables me to paint quicker. The next step is to get our Agrax Earthshade and get some on the brush ready to go. Now, the thing to bear in mind with this is creatures have, um, or, or animals have, different shades of fur. If you look at some wild pictures of things like wolves and bears, they're very dark on top and then go paler um, underneath around the belly and leg areas. Uh, a lot of animals are similar. So what we're going to do with this Agrax Earth shade now is to start to get a kind of natural look. So um, get some Agrax onto our palette <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is paint almost a V shape along the back doesn't have to be neat because there's no straight lines in nature just to sort of separate that it's not so much a V it's more a rectangle but let's get some in there so what we're simulating is that sort of naturally dark area that the animal would have on its back, the wolf in this case would have on its back as it moves down towards sort of the tail area. And then that's it and then we're going to get the Seraphim Sepia now which is naturally lighter than the Agrax Earthshade and with the Sepia we're just going to get it into the areas that I've not covered with the Agrax to give the fur some texture. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to dry now. That's now dry. We're getting Bane Blade Brown for this next stage. Getting some of that onto a suitable dry brush or an old brush that you've got. Wiping away most of it onto our tissue paper here so you've got not much left and then remembering uh, about trying to keep that area darker 
we're just going to run it over more the outer part a little bit bottom of the round there and we're just concentrating on building that up you can see it's starting to come through with dry brushing it's always better to have too little paint on the brush because it's easier to rectify that rather than if you've got too much so always err on the side of caution but that's starting to come through now you can do a little bit around the darker area for the back of the pelt I'm doing exactly the same on the reverse for this one as I was doing on the other side so it's just a dry brush again and the raised areas of the pelt picking out the bane blade brown in this case giving it that sort of tanned hide look at the minute so that's the Bane Blade Brown the next step is to take our Karak Stone same again, get your dry brush get some Karak Stone onto it wipe it off onto your tissue paper till there's very little left and it's just starting on these outer edges again and around the feet what I'm trying to do with this one is to leave a kind of Y shape coming from, from the area where the backpack attaches to down the arms so I'm trying to get around the outer part of these legs here if you can understand me, rather than actually dry brushing into the middle section. A little bit more of the Karak stone on. I'm just going to make sure that's nice and secure on my lollipop stick. That's onto the edges there. This is just going to be for a Huskal, a, a squad sergeant, just to def differentiate him. So I'm not going for kind of a, a posh red interior or anything like that. This is just like he's got the pelt off the wolf and it's it's been flung onto his back. A little bit more on these areas here, just to... Build that up a little bit, you can see it's kind of happening there now. We're getting a natural look to the fur. Last step now for this fur, I've got some um, new Shabti Bone. Absolutely great paint this. You use it as a highlight on a lot of things like um, textured bases and, and other such stuff. All we're doing with the Yushabti bone is just picking out the very edges of the cloak. Bear in mind you want your patterns to look darker, you can go back over it with a, another layer of your um, Agrax Earthshade and Seraphim CP if you wish. But I'm actually quite happy with this. And there we have a really nice fur pelt. I'm going to make sure I do the inside area as well. So a little bit more of that Yushabti bone. And it's Picking out the edges, give it that kind of tanned hide appearance I was talking about before. 
uh, get it into focus. There we have it. That is a fur pelt. What I do with the claws is just um, go back over them with some Abaddon Black and an Eshin Grey highlight on them just to differentiate them from the actual fur itself. And he's ready to go on the Huskarl of my third Grey Slayers pack. So we'll wrap this video up and uh, see you shortly. So that's the end of our video and the end of our five minute fur pelt. I hope you uh, enjoyed that video. Please like and sh uh, subscribe and share if you did. Um, I'll also put links to uh, the paints in the video as well. Um, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Um, please leave comments in the video if uh, you've done this technique and, and, and tell us how it went. Um, I also have a Facebook page, Mini Model Makes. I'll put a link up on there as well so you can go to that. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll see you there and see you soon with the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.